Hello everybody and welcome to another fishing video. Now today we are back out in the kayak. If you saw last video, we tried to do some trout fishing yesterday and in all honesty, the trout kicked my butt. We did not. We got one bite, one fish was on, lost it. They were jumping all over the place, totally teasing me, but we just couldn't get it done. Did turn into an interesting video though, Pimouth Chub Catch and Cook. So if you haven't seen that, link will be in the description down below. But anyways, today we're out for some redemption. We're gonna do everything in our power to make up for yesterday's loss on the trout and see if we can't get one today. Let's get right into it. All right, so yesterday when we did have the bite, we got it trolling this lime green wedding band. So I'm gonna start back with this and just troll it the exact same way we we're doing. And then later on today, if we can't get him on that, we're gonna try this apex spoon here and just go, go for broke, see if we can't get a big one. Anyways, only modification I've made to the rig. It's the exact same rig as last time. Gang troll, willow leaf gang troll to a, uh, to a, I think it's a two and a half ounce cannonball. They actually added, I don't know, well you can see this here, but I added a snubber on here. I think that's what it's called at least. I might have forgotten. I haven't used one in a while. But basically what that does is it's a little bit of elasticity here and it makes us less likely to lose fish basically. That's how it's supposed to work. So anyways, let that go overboard here. And um, put that up like so. And yeah, we're just gonna get to trolling. All right, we've got fish on here, guys. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a, a trout, could be a pike minnow, could be anything here. Oh, look at that, that was a trout. That was actually a trout, guys, but it was a little one. So I'm not, I'm not too broken up about losing that because it was not a very big fish. I don't think I would have kept them, but I still would have loved to have landed it, darn. That was a trout though, so we officially have confirmation this rig works. So I think I'm probably gonna stick with this for now then. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because this might be a good spot. And, um, and yeah, we'll backtrack a little bit and get this rod back in. All right, I reckon that the, um, the lure should now be getting Pretty much, I'll get a little deeper, but pretty much level with the creek now, so. I like this stretch here. Hopefully we'll get a bite soon. Otherwise we're gonna be sad. Otherwise we're gonna be very sad. All right, round two slash three, second round of today, third round of trout fishing off the kayak. Took a little break. We're ready to go again. The apex spoon, it's it's time to shine. You know what I mean? I've just been sitting in my tackle box for like a year. Never been used, no. It's gonna get used. For now, we're just gonna get out pretty deep. I wanna go quite as deep as these boats are because that's a little sketchy. But we're gonna go pretty deep. And we're gonna put this apex spoon down. And we're gonna catch a freaking massive trout. Or get skunked. Probably get skunked, but we gotta try. All right, so here, here is the bad boy. I'm going, I got a chrome one as well. I'm gonna go with the, the just the pink one here. Just a little pink tinge. Quite like it. All right. Apex spoon is ready for action. Oh, that is some sexy action on it. Holy crap, okay, okay. Come on, Rod. Just get hammered. Big old trout. Big beastie trout, like. 
freaking five pounder. Just be like, oh shoot. Yo, 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 fish on, fish on guys, fish on. Come on, come on here, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a kokanee. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hold on. All right, so in the video, I don't do a really good job of explaining what's going on here. But basically, since I wasn't expecting to catch any kokanee on this trip, I didn't take the time to memorize the regulations on retention for kokanee on Okanagan Lake. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm calling my dad, who's at the cabin, so that he can Google whether or not I'm allowed to retain this kokanee before I dispatch them and put them in the cooler. And so luckily, as my dad Googles it, he discovers for me that you're allowed to keep five kokanee a day, so it's totally legal to keep. And as soon as I get the good news, this happens. Regulations, kokanee. Five. Five per, per day? Uh, let me just, uh, just says it quickly oh. here. Yeah. Frickin' had him in the net here. And he just jumped out. No way! <sighs> Alright, so basically what happened is I caught that kokanee, and I wasn't sure, I heard some guy... I didn't really, I was not expecting to catch a kokanee today, right? And I heard some guy had, had mentioned in the past that you couldn't keep kokanee out of Okanagan Lake, which turns out not to be true. But, um... Anyways, uh, I called my dad to see if I could keep the kokanee, which I would have done. It was my first kokanee I've ever caught. And unfortunately, he jumped out of the net while I was doing so. Really unfortunate. Freaking sucks, but what can you do? It's still my first ever kokanee. I'm still hyped about that, but it sucks. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to it and keep fishing. I know this apex spoon works, that's for sure, so... We'll keep at it. Oh, yep, there's a fish, there's a fish. Fish on. There he is. Oh, yes, it's a kokanee. All right, we got one, guys. We got a kokanee. It's not a big one, but these guys don't get very big, as far as I know. And he's bleeding, too. Pretty good, so I think we're gonna keep this guy. Oh, there he is. Gorgeous. A little kokanee. Whew. Got him. All right, so. By the way, this guy was hooked. He was hooked pretty bad. Um, kind of in the gills here. Because if you see here, this, uh, I don't think this, this apex spoon is really designed for fish of this size. This is a freaking big hook right here. And this is not a huge fish. And the way he was hooked, he was kind of bleeding. And so I decided to keep him, even though this is a little bit smaller than I'd like to keep for kokanee. Although kokanee don't get huge. Um... But, this is going to be really cool to cook up, so I'm, I'm really happy. I wish it was a little bit of a bigger fish for sure, but I'm really happy to have gotten this guy anyways. And hopefully if we, if we hook any more on the way back, they'll be uh, either bigger or of a, uh, you know, just hooked lightly so we can turn them loose. But I'm going to get this bad boy in the cooler. The kokanee catch and cook is on, guys. I, I have to tell you right now, I was not expecting to catch a kokanee today whatsoever that's really cool uh, whew. 
Let's go! Okay, now I can, I just need to get that all sorted out, but oh my god, I'm so happy, guys. I'm gonna get this back in the water, see if we can get maybe a bigger kokanee, or a trout, like I was saying, I don't think I'm gonna keep another kokanee of that size if I can, because, um, it's pretty small. Normally, I think kokanee are usually quite small, but I've seen some pictures of some, of some bigger ones from, from the lakes, from here, from like, well, not from here, because I didn't really know kokanee fishing was a big thing here in, uh, here in Okanagan Lake. I knew Kalamalka and Wood, Wood Lake were pretty good for them, but I didn't realize that there was, that there was any here. But that feels really good, guys. After, you know, losing a trout yesterday, a trout today, and then losing a kokanee that I was going to keep, being able to catch one and, and retain it feels really, really, really good. All right, so I got this nice little kokanee here, and I think all I'm gonna do is just gut this guy, clean him up, and just cook him whole in the frying pan, because I don't wanna do anything too crazy with him. It's my first time ever eating kokanee, and I know it's gonna be really good, so I just wanna get like the full flavor of the fish here. So let's get into cleaning this guy. Just pull it all out, and look at the color. Mosquito here. But look at the color of that meat. Just nice orange, just like a salmon. Absolutely delicious. So I'm, all I'm gonna do after having taken these guts out is just uh, cut out this little bloodline in here and then rinse that. And then also put some slits into the fish here, but I'll probably do that on camera as I prepare it to go into the frying pan. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is just cut a few kind of shallow slits into the fish here. Just so A, it cooks a little bit more evenly, but this also keep it from curling in the pan. And then, once you do that, while I'm doing this also, getting our chance to look at that meat it is so nice, deep, dark red colored meat. I'm really excited to eat this fish. And then to this, I'm just gonna quickly grab a paper towel here, dry my hands off from the fish. And we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And then a little bit more of this salmon grilling seasoning, which I'm pretty much using every catch and cook so far because it's really freaking good. But I'm just going to put a little bit on because I really don't want to overpower the taste of this fish. There we go. And that's nice and ready for the pan. All right, so now I've got my frying pan nice and heated up here. Just going to get a nice little chunk of butter in there. And then also to the butter, I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to keep it from burning. All right, butter's looking pretty nice. So I'm going to get this fish into the pan. And I think I'm going to cook it for three minutes aside to start. And then we'll see, because it's a pretty small fish, so I don't want to overcook it. All right, so it's been three minutes, and this guy's looking pretty good. So I'm going to see if I can't give him a quick little flip. Oh my god, that looks freaking awesome. Get a closer look there. But I'm super hyped to eat this bad boy. It looks so good and it smells even better. Right, so this guy's looking just about done. Smells fantastic. So I'm gonna get this guy off the heat, let him cool and then we can give him a taste. All right, so I've let this fish cool a little bit. Now I'm ready for my first taste of kokanee. I'm really excited. I wanted to try this fish for like at least six or seven years ever since I first figured out what they were, but finally time to dig in, so give this bad boy a taste. A little bone there. Oh my god. You know what, guys? You know, the pike mail, that was good. It was really surprisingly good. Pea mouth chub was the same thing, but this is just freaking amazing. Holy crap. That is delicious. It's definitely the best freshwater fish I've ever had. All right, so I finished up eating this kokanee, as you can see here, totally cleaned it down right to the bones. Absolutely freaking delicious, guys. Such a nice surprise. Was not expecting to catch a kokanee in this lake at all, so totally a great way to end off the trip here 
in, in Okanagan by the lake here. But the Okanagan trip is not over because tomorrow we are heading over to a Soyuz. So we're gonna have some really cool videos from a Soyuz lake coming up. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.